Hello everyone, it's me, Dave Gamer once again, and I'm gonna uh, rank, try to rank all the Sonic games. This is not gonna be in one part, by the way. This is gonna be in multiple parts. So I had them or tried to organize them beforehand to the best of my ability. So. So yeah, I'm gonna start with the racing games that I've organized. Uh, Sonic Drift. It's Sonic Drift. What else do you need? Sonic Drift 2. What else do you need to know? Sonic Car, I actually do not hate. It's actually fun when you know how to control it. Sonic Rivals, also pretty fun. It's basically to you Sonic, but you're racing somebody to the end of the level. Sonic Riders, I give a B because it's fun to control. Yeah. And... Rivals 2 is basically better Rivals 1. So, yeah. Sonic Riders 0 Graffiti, I think it's not as good as Riders. And Free Riders. <laughs> Actually... Yeah, let's just put that there. Uh, all stars. You sing. I thought was meh. All stars racing transformed. Also thought was meh. And I think Team Sonic Racing is a S rank. So yeah, that's all the racing games ranked so far. Within two minutes. This is gonna possibly take longer than it should. Let's do some arcade games. We only have three. We got Waku Waku Sonic Patrolman. It's just a kitty ride. So yeah. We got Popcorn Sonic Sega Sonic's Popcorn Shop, which is or it's just a popcorn mini game, and then you get popcorn afterward. Sega Sonic the Hedgehog, though, I give it a C. It's pretty. It's actually a decent game if you actually have a trackball to play it with. Without a trackball and using using a joystick, no. Not even once. Yeah. Now let's do the boom games. Rise of Lyric. Put that in F. Shard the crystal. I didn't hate as much. And then. Uh, Fire Nice. Surprisingly, not that bad. Shard is a boom game, but. We can't just sit, judge a game because it's Sonic Boom related. It's the gameplay. And the gameplay is actually fun. It's basically a shattered crystal, but you don't have to be forced to collect crap. And now for tomorrow's Sonic Olympic Games stuff. Uh, I give the first one, uh, both versions of E. I give uh, Winter Games a, a C. I give the DS version a D as well. But better D than these ones. Actually... Let me just put this at the end. And then, London! Ooh, mm, that's a good game. Then, London on the 3DS was also a good game, but I don't feel like it was in the same caliber. Right? As the other, the console ones. And then. So she, I think this one was. This one, the Wii U ones, are worse than Popcorn Shop. <laughs> uh, actually, Rio is slightly better than that one. Okay, so we got a couple of sub series down. Out of a, 
love them. These ones are character specific games, that's why Shadow's not with all the main series games, which I'm probably doing a part two for I can give more explanation to them. Then we got educational games. Sonic X on the Leapster is actually is an educational game. We got Sonic Schoolhouse. You know, actually, this is slightly better than any of these games. It's sad that these games are actually better than these games over here. Okay. No. And then we got Game World, which I have not played, so I'm just gonna put it here. Over here we start to spin off stuff, but. This start the mobile games, but I guess you can count these as the mobile games, because they were on, these are the mobile versions of the originals, but I'm not gonna count those yet. It's like Jump Fever. It's an endless jumping game. What do you expect? Sonic so so Dash 2. It's basically Sonic Dash 1, but worse. Let me just rearrange the stuff. Yeah. In Sonic Dash, I actually like. Sonic Runners! Mmm! Just by the soundtrack alone. And the gameplay is amazing. Sonic Runners Adventures. It has the same gameplay. But without any of the heart and soul or any of the fan service, which is basically the main appeal of this game, the fan service. The fan service was so wide and good that and thought he, like you get to play so many characters, and then we got Sega Heroes, which is like a one of those uh, tile matching games. I put these above the drift games. I'm pretty sure Crystal is above them as well. Okay, now for the spin offs that features Sonic as the main star. Sonic Labyrinth. Still better than these games over here. Wacky World, I actually don't know what this one is, so I'm gonna just put this in the F tier, because I... But for all I know, these two games could be great games, and I just don't know. 3D Blast, I... On Mega Drive, it's meh. Say it's Saturn. Huh. It's, uh... It's... Nowhere near any of these games, but it still deserves a C. It's the lowest C you're probably gonna get, but yeah. They got Psych the Fighters, which I do not hate. So I would put at least above uh, right here. Because it's actually an okay fighting game for the arcades. I actually wish they did not port it to consoles because then it kind of loses the charm of it. Sonic Shuffle. It's a pretty good game. I liked it. But I didn't really like it that much. Is it? But it does have a really good Ryan Drummond line. I give it a slightly higher E than 3D Blast. Uh, you know, we're not there yet. 
I've never played these ten skins, but they're made by the same people, Simo Digital, the same people who created the Team Sock Racing and the other kart racers and like games that I'm pretty sure is okay. I'm not gonna rate them that hard because I don't really like tennis that much. Soccer Racer. It's basically Sega Heroes, but worse. Lego Dimension Sonic Story Pack. I'm gonna say it. It's freaking fun to actually play it. And so I controls pretty well in like a dimensions as a whole. So yeah. Now we got the compilations. Sonic Jam on the GameCom. No. Uh, Sonic Jam on the Sega Saturn. It's a good compilation. Has some special features. And then we got the Genesis collection, which I'm pretty sure was okay. Mega Collection, Mega Collection Plus. Oh, yeah. And then we got Gems Collection, which is pretty good as well. It has Sonic R, Sonic CD, Sonic the Fighters, and a bunch of Game Gear games. So, yeah. Wait, there's also supposed to be like two more. Yeah. Okay, so we got also the Classic Collection for DS, which is actually really well emulated. And I think it's one of the best ways to play Sonic 3 on the go. So, yeah. And then we got Sega's Genesis Collection. Mmm. This is good. No, I'm gonna give these a uh, B. Okay, so yeah. And now for the storybook games. Secret Rings, I give a E. But I'm gonna say, I actually like Sonic and the Black Knight. It's actually a good game. Yeah. So far we have a well-rounded list. Soon we're gonna get to the main series games. We got the handheld games as well. And then we got the ports to deal with. How I'll, I'll do the pinball games next. Sonic Spinball. Sonic Spinball, so yeah. Eh. Yeah, legit. Let's, let's just put this here. Okay, wait. Sonic Pinball Party. I didn't really hate as much as we used to. So, you get the... Gets a uh, eat. How's the is now playing on Xenoverse 2? Vacations stuff. Okay, so now we're for the, in the other characters uh, stuff. Because in the music maker, it's just a music tool. Has adventure into Sky Patrol. Sky Patrol, I. Uh, has adventure is actually an okay Metrovania type game. I would say it's at least right there. 
Mean Bean Machine. Woo! And then we got the mess, like the port, and it was a meh. I guess it goes here in between the two Olympic Games. No, it's chaotic, though. Uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good game. Not very really good, but has some good music. Child the Hedgehog is a big guilty pleasure. Yeah, so that's where I would put it. Now we got the remake slash ports. Sock N, basically a, the worst way to play uh, Sonic uh, uh, Advanced is the worst way. This goes into the pile over here. You might be thinking, it's like one, what's so bad? You haven't, if you haven't played it, God bless your soul. It's the worst way to play Sonic 1. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle Port is a pretty, I would put in S tier. Sonic Adventure DX, uh, I do not put the DX port higher than, I put it right here. Not to, as good as the original version, mainly because all the, all the, Lesser stuff in it. It's like CD on mobile phones slash consoles. Yeah. Good game. Uh, Sonic 1 and 2 for mobile phones are the best way to play the games. At, and just stop right there. Okay, so all we have left is the console and uh, the handheld games. I'm going to stop it now, and we'll continue this in part two. So we basically got all the spin-off games and other ports and stuff done. Now for the main adventure. See you all next time. And hope you all enjoy your day.